Hi, it's future me or past me by the time you're seeing this. I thought I'd let you know or at least remind you that I do have a print shop going on. By the time you're seeing this, I would have hopefully updated the site and I would have added more photos and I would have taken some away simply because I don't want to offer the exact same photos for the next month or two that I'm gonna keep the site up. The link to the shop will be down in the description alongside the link to my Instagram in which I have a dedicated highlight explaining why I have this print shop in the first place. Hey, what's up? I'm heading home to pick up my camera bag and my tripod to come out and take some photos. For some awkward reason, I felt a sudden urge to take nine photos. So yeah, that's what today's video is. Really do consider buying your prints or simply follow me on Instagram. It really does mean a ton to me. But completely besides the point, there's two buildings that I have in mind that I want to go shoot. And I mean, there's really, really tungsten lights. So I don't know if portrait is going to be appropriate for this. I hope so. I hope the photos turn out well because I'm kind of not down to be using Cine still right now. I hope you enjoy the photos. I hope you enjoyed the video. And of course, you know, I'll be commentating or explaining what I'm doing throughout the process. Next week's video is probably going to be about how I meter my film at night. Not that I do it any differently than anyone else, but there's like a certain way that I like explaining it to people. Maybe you're one of the people that really understands the way I interpret metering at night, but I'm getting off topic. This isn't completely set in stone, although I am taking into a lot of consideration because I've had a handful of people ask me to make that video. So if you're that person or that group of people, thank you so much. It really does mean a lot to me. It lets me know that someone's watching these. These photos are kind of cool. I can't pretend that I didn't take this exact composition or this exact scene three different times, but I really do like this one. It's easily one of my favorites in a while, to say the least. I could honestly care less if you do like it or not, but it is a good photo for me, to me. This is the building that I was talking about at the beginning of the video with the tungsten light. I realized that it's an abandoned hospital and I'd be lying to say that the only reason I didn't take any photos there is because I was scared. So yeah, I didn't take any photos there. It was like 10.30 at night. I was by myself. Um, yeah, I didn't even know that there was an abandoned hospital in the city I live in. So yeah, I learned something. At this point, I finished my role, and truth be told, I do have another role of Portrait 100 sitting in my camera right now that I did not finish for not obvious reasons. 
I just wasn't able to finish it. I wasn't able to find enough scenes that were worth me taking a photo of. I live in such a boring city and you literally can't convince me otherwise. There's literally nothing to take photos of here. Well, there is clearly because I keep taking photos of something, but uh, it's becoming increasingly harder <laughs> to make photos in this city. I'm not saying that someone can be a little more creative, but um, yeah, I'm pretty exhausted. There's like one location that I haven't shot yet and I'm planning on doing so eventually but other than that like i need to start looking outside of the city because i don't want to keep shooting the exact scenes the exact photos and keep smacking them on a video and have people pretend like they haven't seen them before completely besides the point i really do want to mention these two photos because i mean they're pretty good to me i realize that a lot of my photos don't look very lifelike if that makes any sense to you i don't know what my style is and i don't like saying that I have a style or that I'm looking for a style simply because I don't like putting myself in a box and limiting myself to that. I'll never say that I like taking portraits. I'll never say that I like taking landscapes. I'll never say that I like shooting exclusively at night. Um, it's just a handful of things. If you look through my Instagram, uh, maybe you'll see what I mean in terms of lifelikeness. But yeah, I've realized that I gravitate towards making my photos not so real. This is probably due to the fact that I'm not convinced that I'm real myself. Other than that, definitely check out my Instagram if you care. By the time you're watching this video, I'm probably on my way to Fort Worth, Texas right now, which is pretty irrelevant. I completely understand this video is definitely a little short and that the photos might have not been my best, but the title literally says that it's my first roll of Portrait 800. I was going to add some previous photos of a previous trip that I took, but I don't want to go down that YouTube rabbit hole where I start lying and clickbaiting people in my titles. So yeah, you'll be seeing more of that next week or two weeks from now, whenever I edit the video. Really sincerely, consider subscribing if you don't hate the video. Consider liking the video if you don't hate the video. Consider following me on Instagram. My ad is right here and here. And as always, it is also down in the description for your convenience, of course. Consider sharing this with your mom. And lastly, do consider buying a print. Uh, it really does mean a ton to me. You'd be helping me out in one way or another. Or you could simply like the video and subscribe to the channel. Next week's video is probably going to be about how I meet her at night. Again, it's not set in stone, so it's completely up in the air. Consider leaving a comment, letting me know what you would like to see from me. Uh, it always helps out. It keeps me thinking that someone is watching these videos. But yeah, that's it, bye.